I would say it would be to uh, run on the uh, uh, two ways. First, uh, to attempt to uh, demonstrate that this administration has not met its responsibilities either at home or abroad. That if Mr. Nixon is a leading part of this administration, which is one of his claims to uh, the presidency, uh, then he is involved in those policies. If he has not been a uh, part of the administration and he has not agreed with the policies domestically on the farm, in the cities, in relation to our schools, uh, in our national, uh, in our defense policies, and our policies towards the underdeveloped world. He be the head of a responsible political party, not a man who is above his party. A man who will formulate and fight for legislative policies, not be a casual bystander of the legislative process. Today, a restricted concept of the presidency is not enough. For beneath today's surface gloss, as we see the Eisenhower administration coming to an end, beneath the gloss which distinguishes that administration, we see that there are increasingly dangerous and unsolved problems which will disturb the, president of the next president of the United States from January 1961 to the end of his term.